man. Good morning. I'm sick of waking up the man. Seems like every day is some other shit, man. You know, I find it uh it's crazy. To me, it's like right now we're going through corona. Riots in the street over uh, you know crazy circumstances. And then people are going to space all in the same day. Now, my thing is, I understand, and I'm definitely bothered on um, the situation in Minnesota. But when I'm bothered like that, I don't instantly react because I don't really want to do something that's driven by emotion. Because it could be counterproductive. Also, I don't like to be manipulated. I don't like people pushing my buttons. I'm not an elevator. And strategically, if someone wanted to push our buttons, this would be the best way. If someone wanted to make us look crazy, this would be a really good way to trigger that. So, like, what I'm seeing are people that have... You know, real agenda to, to, to communicate in a peaceful way. And then I'm seeing some people running in the stars and stealing. And, and, and it's against, it's not against the people that are committing the injustice. So I, I just don't get it. Now, on a therapeutic level, the only way I could break it down is because I can't, I'm internalizing so much and I can't get to you or do anything to you. I'm going to do something to whatever's nearest to me. But I just don't think that's the brightest or the most logical approach. You know? Again, if it doesn't yield, it doesn't make sense. I understand the therapy in it. And also, like, you know, there should be some degree of respect moving forward. But I just don't want people to... I'm like seeing girls get hit in the head with rubber bullets. I, I, I just don't, I don't get it. You know, I don't want an excuse for people to start abusing. You know, it feels like we're being triggered. And it's not just black people, it's white. Right now, I think it's 50-50 in the, in the protests. <clears throat> you know, I don't think that's very respectful. You know, like if you're coming into somebody else's spot to make a statement, you shouldn't be tearing it down. And then I'm seeing a lot of people from our community with businesses having their torn down. So, I mean, like, you run into stores owned by somebody black or from your culture, and I don't see where that's productive at all. So, I'm not going to say completely Martin Luther King it and be peaceful, but I'm going to say we need to be a little more strategic right now. You know, dying for no reason doesn't make sense, just to bring awareness. That's not what we don't, don't get killed to bring awareness to a situation. It's, it's counterproductive, you know? And what you have to realize is a lot of people are shocked and don't know how to react to this. So you might be looking for people to do things to help. They don't know how. I'm one of them. I'm one of them. I don't know how to help right now. I don't want to aggravate people by saying what we already know time and time again, over and over. We know what it is to the extent that we're desensitized to it. You know, like this shit to me is normal that a cop does this. I'm always outraged. <laughs> That's the reason why it doesn't take a cop killing somebody for me to fight for our culture. Like I do 24 <clears> seven. <throat> you know, this is where my spirit has always came from. I don't wait to see somebody get their neck, you know, killed. For me to be angry about the way we treat it, we have to figure out how to be looked at different. And that it's not in a violent way, it's in an economic way. It's in the we don't need them, we need us way. We have to have the power, but we, right now we're giving it away. You know, we don't want to look like we need to be controlled. That You know, they like, see, this is what we're talking about. That type of shit, you know, get the rubber bullets. I, I don't like the rubber bullets. I don't like the... You know, and don't give them a reason to give niggas a curfew. You know, like they will try to give a curfew over Corona. 
And I guess they're working through it because it kills the economy. Now they have a reason to give a curfew. And then, you know, people be calling that martial law, but it's being triggered to enforce it. And, you know, we, we, we baiting into that. You know? I wish I had more to say. I, I just, all I can say is, um, don't make this distraction take you away from building your dream. You gotta, if this is the case, after this, you know, like now I really gotta focus. Now I really have to control my bubble. Like for me, I've been afraid of the police since I was like 17. That's the reason why I don't drive. I was the first, I, was a, I had a driver when I was like 20 because the cops used to always pull me over. And that's the only time I worked with them. So I'm always scared of the cops, but you know, I was a criminal. Now, if you're not a criminal, you shouldn't be afraid of the cops. So now that I'm not a criminal, 30 years, I shouldn't have to be afraid of the cops, but when they drive behind me, I'm still scared. You know, that's PTS. Or PST, you know, you know, but I, I'm desensitized. Like y'all, you know what I mean? Like these riots, they, they, we should be rioting a different way. You know, we have to have a thinking riot, an idea riot on how to fix this. We have to have a stick together riot, not only when someone gets hurt. Like we should be aware of what's going on not out of defense. We have to be more offensive and then we won't have to be defensive. We have to all understand our self-worth and we have to be smart. You know, reacting out of emotion, especially the men, you can't do that. It's bad business. It's bad business. We have to have a riot of solutions, you know, a riot of answers. Not a riot of talk and a riot of violence. That's all temporary. And, you know, some people that don't have the same intention can take advantage of those things and start stealing and then justify it. And, and that's not what this is. Innocent people work hard. Like, I, I'm thinking like, yo, if I had a store out there right now, I'm, I, I don't know what I would do. I, you know, number one, I would probably feel disrespected. Like, y'all better keep it moving because this is my store. I've done nothing wrong. I'm mad too, but I ain't gonna, ain't gonna be start beating my shit up. You know what I mean? So we, we, I'm, I'm, a, listen, don't expect me to stop working. Don't expect me to stop being happy, but don't think every day I'm not trying to fix this situation. This is what the whole network is. You know, instead of, instead of fucking running around and hitting the street and just trying to steal, Start building platforms to distribute your information and so we can make our own money so we don't need these people. This is what happens when you need them. They control you. When you're asking for somebody to give you all kind of support and help, then they think they own you. So when you're dependent on people, you can't really so be so mad about how they treat you. The thing is, don't be dependent on them. My thing about police is I just stay away from them. Period. I can't control these niggas. Ain't shit I could do. And y'all got to remember, the police, they're a brotherhood. That's a gang. They're not snitching on each other. The good ones is going to look the other way. It is what it is. You ain't snitching on your family, regardless whether you think they right or wrong. That's how the police look at things. That's logic. So number one, if you're a criminal, you say, how do I stay away from the police? Don't be a criminal, number one. You know, don't do no illegal. Maybe not be outside for a little while. Like, even though it's not right, I still, want, I don't give a fuck if it ain't right. I still want to live. So if I know the police is over there, I'm staying over there. You know? Like, you know, if I know my enemies or my ops triggers and I can't do nothing about it, then I'm not going to pull them. I can't fight the police, bro. Period. That's, a, you know? So we have to figure out how to fight the police. Or fight the people that are oppressing us. Because not all police. I know the police is looking at the good ones. Like they lose. Like God damn. You know. You know what needs to happen. Is the police need to speak up. The ones that don't agree. With them need to speak up. And that's what we respect it I think. I think that's the answer. The police have to regulate the police in front of us. You know what I mean? And that's the thing they won't do. 
You know what I'm saying? Like a police gets in trouble, you expect a policeman to arrest his brother. He ain't doing it. Or maybe there needs to be a, a, a police for the police. Like a police that the scared that the po- that the other police is scared of. You know, our police. We need our police. We need to call it that. Maybe we should do that. See, that's a thought. That's an answer, and it's logical, right? I'm going to talk to the congressman about it. Why can't we impose a police for the police? Almost like a different car that drives around watching the police like a gang. Just for a little while. You know, until it gets better. You know, maybe run by people in the community. You know? You know, it's it's crazy when people that aren't from the community are policing another community that they don't respect. You know, most of these policemen don't live in the communities that they that they are uh, working in. And then they look at us like, or that community, like cattle, like a business. Not like human. I bet, I bet a policeman won't f*** up any community that his kids is living in, or that his mother's living in, <coughs> or someone that he loves. You know? No one would. Maybe we need to start being able to police our neighborhoods, have our own police. You know? It's a thought. But if we do this, you know, run around breaking shit, they ain't going to give nobody no badges. They're going to give them, you know, jail co- jail clothes. They're going to give them cases. I'm watching cool people get arrested and shit. You know, tase it all in the in the car. And it'd be fucked up because the police hitting the innocent ones because they can't catch the ones that's really doing it. Niggas is getting swung on and all that. So you know what happens when you get away with beating up a police or doing something to a cop? He takes it out on somebody else that's probably innocent. That's what happens. So you can't win that one because someone's going to feel it. At the end of the day, the police have the right, or not the right, not the right. They have, it's legal for them to take shit out on people, their frustrations, and not go to jail for it. And a lot of them are very frustrated. You know, I think there needs to be more therapists. The police need to go to, they, have, they got to go to therapy. Because there should be, there should be signs, right? Like you should know when someone's a racist just based on certain things they say clinically. You know, if someone's having issues, there's certain words that are flags that someone might be racist or maybe not balanced. You know? And it can't be like once in a while. You got to see them every week because motherfuckers could pretend they're not crazy when they're crazy. But not but for so long. You know? So I'm just trying to think of solutions. But I'm still going to work. My money got to be right because the only way I can protect myself from them. You know? Economic power is the best power. Because if you're not, if you're in a situation where you ain't got to go outside... Or you could live in a big house where, and not be, you know, everybody on top of each other. It makes things easy. I know. Trust me. You know? I'm thinking like, what if I still lived in 1199? You know, what if I was still on 142nd Street in Lenox? <coughs> Every day. Like, I got a gallery. What if I had the gallery out there right now? I always had galleries in New York on the concrete. You know, what if I had some windows for some people to break right now? What if I was still hustling 30 years ago? All those things are coming through my brain. It's not a good time to be a criminal anyway. So stop the dumb shit. You know what I mean? Like, period. It's never a good time to be a criminal because there's other options. And it's not the best time to be outside. Not forever. But right now, it's a good time to get money in the house. Like, why not? Not scared, just smart. The fuck outside is going to be there in a year? It's a good time to focus. It's a good time to read some books. It's a good time to learn an instrument. It's a good time to think about how to pass a law. It's not a good time to go outside and break windows. You know, that's counterproductive. It's a good time for thought. We need some answers, man. It's a good time for me to have a television network so I could distribute the proper information and expose the people that need to be exposed. Look, what's been the most powerful thing? Catching these motherfuckers on camera. Who've been doing that for years? That's me. I've been catching these niggas on camera. That's why I keep a camera on. 
But now the cameras ain't protecting you. So now you got to stay in the house. Or you got to be ready for war. I don't give a fuck about all that physical shit. I'm not down for that. If I got to, I got to. But not, that's not what I'm doing all this for. I got kids. I got daughters. The best thing for me to do is raise my children. The best thing for me to do is make sure my children don't have to go through this. Because I could deal with it. I dealt with it. You know? Like, if I know the neighborhood is hot, now for what I'm seeing, Minnesota is just a racist place. I ain't going. Period. That's one state I won't be at. The niggas do that type shit. Arrest fucking black news anchors on, on camera. They don't give a fuck out there. All right, let's stay the fuck from out of Minnesota. You know? Shut them niggas down. Period. Fuck up their economy only. Make, make them not a state till they not racist. Some shit like that. You know? These are thoughts. Now the question would be like, all right, now if I want something done, how do I get it done? I got to call a senator or congressman and say, how do I lobby for this law? Now that's smart. Think about a law to pass that will stop this shit or police this shit and then figure out how to get it passed. But breaking the window is not the answer. That's all I'm saying. Ain't none of us perfect in here. But at the end of the day, if you love people before you love yourself, then don't go out there and try to just bring attention to yourself and think it's all like, yo, I'm outside. So that makes sense. If you ain't fighting every day for this, if you only, it's not like these things when they happen, it's like Christmas for like people, certain kinds of people to come out and talk, but they don't talk for the re in between that. They're not doing nothing to make life better for nobody but themselves. So when this is over, when this dies down, which it will, are you going to consistently fight and how? What are you going to do so this doesn't happen again to anybody you love? It shouldn't take a, a reaction to make you do something. It, it shouldn't take a reaction for action. Do the action before we get punched in the face. You know? Don't wait to get hurt to fix things. Just see what can happen and fix it before. That's what I be trying to do. You know what I'm saying? And whoever like thinks that that that, that they want to get on here and talk, shit, get the fuck off my line, bro. This ain't the time. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't give a fuck. You don't have to be here. No one has to be. If you ain't about no positive shit, no answers, and nothing, just get the fuck out of here. Period. You a clown. You a herb. You lonely. And you the type of motherfucker that would be doing this type of stupid shit, beating people when they not looking, because you a bully, because you lonely, because you mad at life, and all these. Cowards and clowns that want to talk shit about other people but don't do shit, they should feel ashamed of themselves. And these are motherfuckers that be trying to take other people out to take out how they feel about themselves. Nigga, if you're filled with hate, you're only going to give hate. Fill yourself up with love, and then you'll get love. And then you'll have good people around you, and you'll have nothing but love around you. You know what I'm saying? And the reason why I address people because I want them to know what to say when people, when I'm not around, when people are over there in spreading negative energy. Like, yo, get your ass out of here. Nobody want to hear that bubblegum shit. We about love over here. Tough love, too. Smack. You know? But this is not productive. Our reactions are our tests. This is a test to see how we're going to react to something like this. That's what this is. It's always a test. Not to do what they expect us to do. This is expected. They knew. That's why they were going around breaking windows themselves. They had an excuse to bring out the rubber bullets. Don't give them the excuse. Don't do what we always do. Let's do this different. It's the only way to have a different, um, a different thing happen. Only thing for this to end up different than it did is for us to do something different. If we don't do nothing different, how do we expect it to be different? We got to figure something out. You know? But please, knock this shit off. Don't go, go outside, get sick, go to jail, get killed. None of that shit makes sense. It all seems strategic. Pay attention to the distractions and don't be caught up in being one. 
And if it doesn't yield, don't do it. You know? Like, I'm not trying to see, not want, no, I don't want to see more of us getting abused. You know what I'm seeing now? I was aggravated because of this one situation. Now I'm aggravated every time I look at the phone. Because there's like 10 different situations and things that are happening. This is triggering more fucked up shit. I'm going to work. I'm going to figure this shit out. You know, I'm going to organize the people I know that are really going to make a difference. I'm going to talk to the people that I know that really have, that are about that action. You know, I'm going to kick it with some bishops. I'm going to kick it with some senators, some congressmen, some principals. I'm going to do all that. And, and, and But not just, I don't want to talk about what's going on. I want to talk about what we're doing. I know what's going on. We all know what's going on. Why we, we need to have the, I want us to be screaming about the answer, the resolution, not the problem. We know the problem. We need the solution. And, 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 and number one, the corona was like bugged out, never happened, stressed the whole world out. Now this shit happens. Now niggas is in space. There's so much shit going on in Digest. I'm going to call Taj. We need some therapy. The world needs some therapy right now. The whole world is emotional right now. The whole world is off balance right now. You saw Trump's hair today? His shit was crazy. Word, niggas got, they got off the planet. That's what I'm saying. They like, niggas is bugging out here. Yep, niggas better get their money right so they can get a seat on that, 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 that Tesla spaceship, whatever, or, or the Virgin one, cause or we got to start building our own. I got to call Billy Caution. For real. <laughs> Word. I got to talk to him offline first. He might say some deep shit. For real. But yeah, man, I just wanted to uh, check in. I want everyone to know I'm thinking about this, shit, but I'm working. And I, I'm, I, I suggest everyone do what I do. If work and work on a plan to fix this in a way that lasts. So our kids could, if we're going to do something, make sure our kids benefit from it. You know, I don't want to see a bunch of pictures of everybody thinking it's so cool to look like a black pan for once a month, one, once a year. You want, if you want to be a Black Panther, you got to live that life every day. You know, if you ain't doing that every single day, then don't glorify this protest and you outside like that. I don't want to see all that. You know what I mean? Glorify your protest when everyone else is not protesting. You know, now everyone's doing it. Now everybody wants to do it and people are taking it. I don't want to see all of that. It's not a photo op. I want every, every single person that's outside, I want to see what you're doing every single day for your community. Not just when everyone else is fighting. Because that to me is corny. And I'm going to leave, you know, I'm, I'm going to just, you know, just because everybody doing what you want to be outside. Oh, he outside, I got to go out there. Then he comes to a social event. He get arrested, I want to get arrested. Come on. Do it when nobody's doing it. You know, fight for your culture when, when no one's fighting behind you. You know, because that's what I do every day. You know, and I'm not knocking nobody. I'm just saying be conscious of what you're doing. That's all. A lot of people have good intent, but a lot of people don't. And, and it's, it's always going to be like that. So that's the balance and the shift of the world. But think about how you can be um, aggressive every single day about helping your future and your culture and the people you love. Not just when one person happens that you don't know. When something happens to somebody you don't know. Fight every day for what you love. If you want another amazing video with the one and only Dame Dash, check it out right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe, and I'll see you there.